Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. Can get a lot of valuable information as far as market trend, knowing what the candlestick signals are telling us and what non-candlestick signals are telling us. As we illustrated last week, this positive trading day on Friday was not a reversal signal. Why is that relevant? Because if this had some sort of strong results based upon candlestick analysis or investor sentiment, the Japanese rice traders had 400 years to tell us what that is. When there's no mention of this type of signal, that merely tells us this is probably an up day, but not necessarily a major trend reversal. That was clearly illustrated today when the Dow traded up and then finally finished lower. There's still not any real conviction as far as overall market trends. And that is also being able to analyze the nature of the market. Not only was it moving sideways, but you had up days, down days, up days, down days, hovering right here on the T-line. A lot of people ask, well, what happens? How do you analyze a trend if you're hovering right here on the T-line? That becomes very evident that if it's hovering at the T-line, there is no direction. So you're going to see a lot of people announce, oh, the NASDAQ was up today. However, as a candlestick investor, you can see it was not a bullish day. They were actually trading back down below where they opened. So this is where the benefit of uh, being a member of the candlestick uh, forum is improving by the fact that not only can we identify which signals are the strongest signals, but we're right now in a uh, uh, analytical, statistical study of what should you do on that trade based upon how it opens. If it opens lower and trades lower, it keeps you out of the trade. If you've got something like this, again, on Zixi, needed a trade positive. But today, it only did a doji day. However, that does not uh, eliminate the realm of being in a good bullish trade. Because we know that if this opens positive and starts trading positive, we've got a, can or a doji uh, sandwich setting up, which we know is bullish, which would confirm the best friend breakout. So not only does recognizing which signals have the strongest potential, knowing what the statistics are as far as how they trade after the signal greatly improves your probabilities of being in a correct trade at the correct time. Same scenario on the downside. The market was trading positive today. Friday, uh, DBX did a best friend Barry signal. The market was trading positive today and that trend continues is exactly what we was suspect after a bearish uh, signal. So not only do you have the best friend, you also have things like the kicker signal that illustrate a dramatic change of investor sentiment. So we know what our trading strategy would be on this um, stock. If EXAS opens positive tomorrow, we can factor there's probably at least a 45 degree to the upside. So just because things are trading positive doesn't necessarily mean they're in an uptrend. As illustrated in Apple, one of the major uh, traders on Wall Street, it closed back below where it opened. That's a good indication that the bears are still around, the bulls are not in control. So there is a very, uh, I want to say, statistical probability of using specific indicators that tell you when there's a market uh, market timing, like reversal in a market trend. Join us this Saturday with a, what we call the mini spotlight series. This is a one hour, which usually extends into two hours or greater on the indicators that tell us there's been a major change of investor sentiment over and above just the indexes themselves. That'll be it. We'll hope to see you in the chat rooms.